The T-62 tank, a marvel of Soviet engineering. It's a name that echoes through history, a true icon of the Cold War era. This Soviet war machine rumbled onto the scene at the height of the Cold War, changing the dynamics of armored warfare. It was a symbol of Soviet might, paraded proudly through the streets of Moscow. The T-62 was a big deal, featuring advanced technology for its time. It was better than the T-55, with improved armor and firepower. It was a proper tank for a proper fight, designed to dominate the battlefield. The T-62 was designed to counter the West's tanks, a formidable adversary. It was tough, mean, and meant business, with heavy armor and powerful weaponry. The Soviets built thousands of them, rolling them off the production lines in vast numbers. They sent them all over the place, deploying them in various theaters of war. The T-62 saw action in lots of conflicts, proving its worth time and again. It earned its place in military history, leaving a lasting legacy as a Cold War icon. The T-62 was a looker, wasn't it? Well, maybe not, but it was functional. Designed during the Cold War, it was built to withstand the harshest of battle conditions. It had a low profile, which was a strategic advantage. That made it harder to hit, especially when camouflaged in the field. The crew compartment was cramped, but it was well protected, ensuring the safety of the soldiers inside. It had thick armor plating, designed to withstand direct hits from enemy fire. That kept the crew safe, even in the most intense combat situations. It had this big, smoothbore gun, a revolutionary feature at the time. That was a first for Soviet tanks, setting a new standard in tank design. It was a 115mm cannon capable of piercing through enemy armour. It packed a serious punch, making it a formidable opponent on the battlefield. The T-62 also had a heavy machine gun mounted for additional firepower. That was for taking care of pesky infantry, ensuring no one got too close. And it had smoke grenades too, for creating a smoke screen. Just in case things got a bit too hot, these grenades provided a quick escape or cover. The Soviets started building the T-62 in 1961. They churned them out like there was no tomorrow. Production peaked in the 1970s. By then, they'd built over 20,000 of these beasts. They kept making them until 1975. That's a lot of tanks. The T-62 was the main battle tank of the Soviet army. It was also used by the Warsaw Pact countries. They had loads of them. The T-62 was a common sight in Eastern Europe. It was a potent symbol of Soviet influence. Section 4, Firepower, Packing a Punch. The T-62 tank was known for its incredible firepower, a true game changer in its era. Let's talk about that gun, the heart of its firepower, the 115 mm smoothbore cannon. It was a game changer, revolutionizing tank warfare with its power and precision. It could fire all sorts of rounds, making it versatile in combat situations, armor-piercing, high-explosive, you name it. Each type of round had a specific purpose, enhancing the tank's effectiveness. It could knock out any tank at the time, making it a feared adversary on the battlefield. It had a range of over four kilometers. That's a long way. This extended range allowed it to engage enemies from a safe distance. The T-62's gun was very accurate, thanks to its advanced targeting system. It had a sophisticated fire control system, which was ahead of its time. That helped the crew to hit their targets with remarkable precision, even under challenging conditions. The T-62 was a formidable opponent on the battlefield, often dominating its adversaries. It could dish out the damage, unleashing devastating firepower on enemy positions, and it could take it too. Its robust armor allowed it to withstand significant enemy fire, ensuring it stayed in the fight. Section 5, mobility on the move with the T-62. The T-62 wasn't exactly a speed demon, but it was no slouch either. It had a 580 horsepower engine. That gave it a top speed of around 50 kilometers per hour. Not bad for a tank. The T-62 could handle most types of terrain. It could cross rivers and ditches. It wasn't phased by mud or snow. It was a reliable and robust machine. It could keep going in tough conditions. That made it ideal for the Soviet Union's vast and varied landscape. 
Section 6, Global Impact, the T-62 on the world stage. The T-62 was exported all over the world. It saw action in numerous conflicts. It was used in the Middle East, it was used in Africa, it was even used in Afghanistan. The T-62 earned a fearsome reputation. It was a tough and reliable tank. It was simple to operate and maintain. Even today, the T-62 is still in service in some countries. It's a testament to its rugged design. It's a true Cold War icon.